All right, we have to talk about drug use, open air drug use in the tenderloin, still a big problem, drug dealing, sometimes drug deaths. Uh, we have done stories with users who tell our reporters they specifically come to San Francisco because they feel they won't be hassled. Uh, is that really the case? Well, let's start with the bottom line here, which is that the overdoses and the fatal overdoses in San Francisco and across the country are devastating. And they're rising all across the country. It's not a problem limited to San Francisco. Um, we need a more effective response to the drug crisis on our streets. And it has to start with a public health response. We need it to be easier to get help than it is to get high in San Francisco. And look, law enforcement has limited tools. What I can do primarily is I can prosecute the drug dealers that police arrest. But in San Francisco right now, police are making arrests citywide in about two drug sales cases a day. Is there any, well, any ray of hope for people who do have to live and work in that area, visitors and locals, is there any hope of things changing? Absolutely. Fast. Absolutely. Faster, and, anyway. Well, we need, we need to move with the urgency the crisis demands. And I asked for an emergency supplemental budget back in February of 2021 because I said we need a fentanyl task force. We need to bring together law enforcement and public health officials, and we need to invest in this crisis the way we did in the COVID-19 pandemic. Sadly, nobody in City Hall even introduced the supplemental budget that I requested, and it went nowhere. Um, but we're continuing to prosecute drug sales cases that police do bring us at higher rates than any other category of crime. And we know that the war on drugs has not worked. We can't simply rely on arrests and prosecutions, especially for people who are living with addiction. We need to invest in treatment on demand and on safe consumption sites so that no overdose is fatal, and so that we can connect people who are using drugs with the kinds of services, with the kinds of treatment that can change their lives and save lives in the process. Should drug users be arrested? I think there's a big difference between users and dealers. Um, and we can't tolerate illegal drug sales in San Francisco. We can't tolerate people coming into our communities and dumping fentanyl into the hands of folks who are all too often overdosing and dying. When people are addicted, however, we know that simply putting them in jail or giving them another criminal conviction is not an effective response. What we need to do is make treatment on demand available. We need to make sure that there's 24 seven access to drug treatment so that when people are using and they wanna get help, help is available for them. All right, but bottom line, just to be really clear for people, no on arresting drug users. You know, I think if there were a program like law enforcement assisted diversion, a program we used to have in San Francisco, but sadly, before my administration, the funding was cut. Um, it's a program that's worked really well in Seattle. I think law enforcement can play a role in arresting users if the goal is to connect them with services. But right now in San Francisco, those services don't exist. Our judges who oversee our drug court and our other treatment courts are regularly complaining to me, to the head of the Department of Public Health, that people who are statutorily eligible for drug treatment programs are often waiting in county jail for weeks or months to get placed into a program. We've got to invest seriously in the kinds of treatment programs that save lives, that help people on a path to sobriety and prevent crimes and make all of us safer in the process.